Hello grade 9 math class, welcome back to another lecture. Today we have a division of fractions. Um, it's going to be very similar to the last one where we multiplied fractions. There's just one step we need to do beforehand and it is flip over the denominator. Um, I'm going to show you a couple of ways that they can be written um, and how I like to write it. So let's go. The first one is written um, 20 over 11 divided by 1 over 7. And this is just how this program writes these questions side to side. Uh, you will often see this instead. 20 over 11, then divided by 1 7. Okay, so these two things are the same. This is a lot easier to read than this, right? But this is going to be given to you in a lot of questions, especially when we deal with algebra going forward. So it's just key that we know that we flip over the denominator. And in this case, like these are denominators, but if we have a fraction divided by a fraction, this is also the denominator. We flip over that fraction that's in the denominator, right? When written like this, it's much more clear that this is the denominator, but that's what we're going to flip over and then multiply. So these two are the same and it's equivalent to 20 over 11 multiplied by seven over one. I've taken my bottom fraction, my denominator fraction, and flipped it over. And now I'm going to have a multiplication question. 20 times 7 is 140. And 11 times 1 is 11. And that's our answer. You can't divide anything into both of those any further. You can't reduce that. Okay. So uh, although all of these are going to be written in this form, please be aware that if it's written like this, you do the same thing. You just take the bottom one, you flip it over, and you multiply those fractions. Let's do a couple more examples. We have 11 uh, divided by 6, and then 12 divided by 13. We're going to flip them and multiply. So that's 11 over 6 multiplied by 13 over 12. Uh, let's see, 6 times 12. Let's do the easy one first. I always like to do that is 72. Then 11 times 13. Well, I know that 11 times 11 is 121. And if I've got two more 11s to add on, I know that's 22. So I'll go ahead and add those. And it's 141. Okay, so 11 times 13 is 141. I don't believe that you can divide anything into both of those. One's not even, it's not five, it's not clear anyway. Um, so that would be considered our answer. We flipped over our fraction and divided. I'm going to write this next one in the uh, fractional form of fractions. I know it's a little confusing. So we've got 3 elevenths divided by 11 fourteenths. So we recognize that this is the denominator of our fraction. We're going to flip it over and multiply. 3 over 11 multiplied by 14 over 11, right? I took 11 over 14 and flipped it over. 3 times 14 is 42. That's uh, 14, 28, 42, and then 11 times 11. This is common one, and one of my favorites, 121. Okay, so there is our answer for that problem. Let's do a couple more. Nine divided by seven, divided by five thirteenths. Again, we see this is the denominator. We're gonna flip it over. 9 over 7 multiplied by 13 fifths. 9 times 13, I don't know that one off the top of my head. Let's just do this quickly. 9 times 3 is 27. 9 times 1 is 9. We add that up. That's 117. So 9 times 13 is 117. 7 times 5 is 35. And there you have our final answer. I'm not checking super thoroughly if you can reduce, but if you can, that is required. 8 divided by 14, all divided by 14, 7. I'm going to flip this over and multiply, so that's 8 fourteenths multiplied by 7 fourteenths. Uh, an easy one for me is 14 times 14, that's 190, sorry, 196, not 4, 196. And then 8 times 7 is 56, so I can divide. I'm reducing here. I can divide both of them by 2. 
This one is 28. 196 divided by 2 is going to give us 98. I can, I can go ahead and divide both of those by 2 again. So you get 14 out of 49. And I can do it again. 7 divided by, both of them go into 7. Right? So 14 divided by 7 is equal to 2. Seven, 49 divided by 7 is 7. And we have our final answer reduced to 2 sevenths. Which again, very happy surprise when we get to reduce like that. That's very nice. 2 sevenths is our final answer. Got one more to do. One more problem to do. 3 thirteenths all divided by 4 thirds. Right, we recognize the denominator on the bottom, so we flip it over and we multiply. 3 over 13 multiplied by 3 over 4. That is 9 over 13 times 4. I know that 13 times 3 is 39, so another 13 would be 52. And I believe that that is as low as we can go. Okay. Uh, key is recognizing that the denominator needs to be flipped over and then multiplied by the other fraction. Thank you so much for watching, everyone, and I will see you soon.